How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So you're trying to play Rainbow Six Siege with a VPN and maybe you're having ping problems and latency problems. By the way, I'm on my laptop. That's why I have the option to download it right here, but it's on my other PC. But that does not take away from the couple of points that I'm about to make. And it is, well, ExpressVPN or VPN and Surfshark are going to work very well, but you have to keep two things in mind. First of all, you need to use a really good VPN. So I've tested a couple of dozen VPNs, about 30 VPNs. I've narrowed it down to these three as the best for latency and download speed. And of course, really good connections so that you're able to uh, play without any ping or lag problems. Now, the first thing you wanna keep in mind is that you need to use the best performing protocol. So that'll be the lightweight UDP protocol with ExpressVPN. That'll be the Nord Lynx protocol with NordVPN. And finally, the WireGuard protocol with Surfshark. The second thing you want to keep in mind is that you need to connect to the VPN server that is closest to your gaming server. So let's say your game server, let's say you're in the States, right? Let's say your game server is in New York. Then you want to connect, If assuming that this is the server that you're connecting to, you want to connect to the game server that is, or VPN server rather, that is in New York. York. So if your Rainbow Six Siege server is in New York, you want to connect to the VPN server that's also in New York because it's all about distance when it comes to latency. The bigger the distance, the more latency you're going to get. And obviously, the shorter the distance, the better and lower the latency it's going to get. So this is how you can get better ping, even better than your base ping, potentially. If you're having ping problems using a VPN and connecting to a server that is closer, that connecting to a VPN server rather that is closer to your gaming server can solve that problem. Do not connect cross continent because that's just simply not going to work. But if you're looking to improve your ping while using a VPN, maybe you want to unblock Rainbow Six Siege because it's blocked for you or you got banned or whatever it is, maybe you trolled too hard in Rainbow Six and now you're banned and you wanna get your account back or you know, just use a different IP address in order to access your account or maybe create a different account. Depending on how you got banned, there are different levels of banning. So. Either way, if you're trying to uh, play with very low ping while using a VPN, that is the main trick. First of all, use the best performing protocol in a premium VPN, and all these VPNs are very premium. Of course, they all differ in features and budgets, so pick and choose depending on uh, what you're comfortable with or what suits you best. And uh, again, the other um, example that I was going to make is that let's say you're in Frankfurt and the gaming server is in Switzerland, simply connect to Switzerland and you should be good to go um, or a neighboring country at the very least. Now with ExpressVPN, you got over 3000 servers in 94 countries. With NordVPN, you've got over 5,500 servers in 60 countries. And finally, with Surfshark, you got over 3,200 servers in 95 countries. All of them work very well, but if you're interested in learning more about these VPNs with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find full reviews, full in-depth reviews in the description down below. You'll also find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to take advantage of the discounts while they last. Besides that, you also have 30 days to test drive these VPNs and test the method that I just mentioned. You know, Pick your protocol, pick the best protocol, obviously. Pick the nearest VPN server to the game server and you should be good to go. And let me know how it works in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.